This program is sponsored by Newcastle County Government. Welcome to Health and Self. My name is Ashley Thayer, and today I have two special little chefs in the kitchen with me. I have Veronica and Zoe. Veronica and Zoe are my two youngest daughters. Yes, you know there are four Thayer girls, but they are the two youngest. And we have some special kid friendly dishes we're going to make today. Veronica, what are we going to make? Kids' applesauce. And what else, Zoe? Fruit salad. Fruit salad, yes. So our kids' applesauce is really easy to make. We need some minimal ingredients, obviously, apples. We're gonna use a little bit of agave syrup, a little bit of cinnamon, and some lemon juice. Ooh. And we'll need a little bit of water too, but everybody has water. And then for the fruit salad, what are we gonna need? Uh, fruits. Fruits. Exactly. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Okay, we're gonna need peaches, apples, blueberries, pineapples. I mean, it's going to be so many different things. Mandarin oranges, and then it's gonna have a yummy yogurt drizzle that we're going to put on top of the fruit salad. So we'll get to the fruit salad a little bit later because first we've gotta get our apples cooking so that way we can make our applesauce. How's that sound? Good. Good? Okay, Veronica, can you reach back there and grab me a lemon, please? Yes. And Zoe, we're gonna go ahead and cut the apples, okay? And then I'm just doing a really rough cut. We like apples because they are high in fiber. Did you know that? No. Yes. Fibers help our tummies to feel good. So we don't have to be, applesauce. yeah, and it's okay if your apples are a little bruised or a little imperfect because we're going to chop them up and then we're going to smush them up. Now, when we do go to blend our apples, I do have an immersion blender that we're going to use. You could certainly use a food processor. You could use a regular blender. You could use even a old school potato masher. Did you know that? No. No? Yeah. But it takes a lot of muscle. Do you guys have muscles? Yes. Do, do you really? Yes. Let me see your muscles. Oh, oh, you guys are very strong. So it's always fun. My girls love applesauce, but the reason why I like to make it at home is because I can control the sugar content. I can control the added ingredients as opposed to buying it from the store. Now, I'm not opposed to buying applesauce from the store. Nothing's wrong with it, right? Because we like the applesauce that comes in the little squeeze pouches to pack in our lunchbox. Yes. Yes. But this is perfect, too, when we go picking, apple picking. Ooh. Do you guys like that? Yeah. Are you excited to go apple picking? Yes. What's your favorite part about apple picking? Uh, we get to find different, like, apples. apples. Mm -hmm. And like yellow, green, or red apples. Mm -hmm. Now, what else do we do at the orchard when we go apple picking? Uh, we pick it. Uh huh. We, do we do some other fun activities when we're at the orchard? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Like um, like strawberries. Oh, we oh we have picked strawberries. You're right. Yes, there is a fun farm in southern Delaware that we like to pick strawberries from. But yeah. do we go on hay rides? No. Do we play on the jungle gym at the orchard? No. We, what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was like, did we go to the same orchard? Did yes. I take you to the same place? Yes. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure we went on some hay rides with some friends, right? Yeah. And got some apples. <gasps> Ooh, what else do we get that comes in that big jug? Pumpkins? Well, we do get pumpkins when we go to the apple orchard, but what else do we get? Apples. <laughs> apple cider. <laughs> mm, we like the apple cider too. Yes. All right, we are almost done. This is our last apple. 
Hey, can you put your cores in that bowl and put it in the sink? Yes. You can put it in your yellow bowl, sure. So the girls, when they come to the kitchen, they have their own bowls, their own measuring spoons, their own measuring cups. They don't like to use the fancy, oh, there you go. You, you got them in there, didn't you? Okay, can you put that in the sink? And we'll clean it up after. Where? I'll do it, it's right here. Right behind you. You don't know what the sink mm -hmm. is yet, do you? No. Because you're not one of the daughters that does the dishes, are you? No. No. Okay, I'm going to turn on my burner to medium high heat. When working with a burner, obviously kids and safety is always first in our priority. So got it set away from Veronica so that way she will not get burned. Now, I'm going to just dump my apples in and I'm also going to pour in about a quarter cup of water. So that way the apples, number one, don't stick to the pan and number two, can start to steam and cook. Are you helping me? Yeah. Or are you trying to steal apples? No. Just oh, thank you. Anytime we make a fruit salad or a regular salad, oop, I just knocked you in the face. Bobby. Toss it in there. Go ahead, you can eat that apple. You want an apple? There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, you stole an apple. <laughs> 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 you silly girl. Okay, so I'm gonna dump my water next. Can you, can you dump that in? Yes. Good job. It's about a cup. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're gonna let that start to heat up and we're gonna let those come to a simmer or a boil. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, actually, let me throw a cover on there. Let me throw a lid. That way then it's out of our way and we can come back to that later. And then we'll add, when it's time, the agave, the cinnamon, and the lemon juice, okay? We've got okay. those ready. So now I think we should start to make our fruit salad, mm -hmm. okay? Now let's get all of our ingredients down here. So do you wanna use the big red bowl or should we use a big clear bowl? Big red bowl. Big red bowl, okay. Yeah. I don't know if all of our fruit's gonna fit in that big red bowl. Let's okay, take can two. both of you help me in cutting? Yes. Yeah. So let's put these down here out of the way so we have our full cutting board. Now, will you two cut strawberries? I'm going to give you a knife and Veronica, would you like your own cutting board? Zoe, you can use mine? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna sit this here, away from the burner. There you go. Go ahead and put your strawberries on there. And you can use just a regular butter knife, and you're going to also use just a regular butter knife to cut the strawberries. Now let me show you how to do it first. So that way- I know how to do it. Can, oh, I know you, I, you know everything, but can I show you first? Yes. Okay. So you're gonna take your knife, you're gonna chop off the top and get rid of it. And then you're gonna cut it in half. There you go, chop it. Good job. And then cut it in half. Turn it upside down, there you go. Turn it upside down. Hold on, hey you. Why don't you help me dump? Yeah, that's a good idea. How about I chop and you dump? Okay. okay, there we go. I get more. All right, so you get the bowl. You're in charge of the bowl. Okay. All right? <laughs> and then you can separate them if you want. It makes it easier to cut it. There you go. Good. Yeah. All right, Veronica, you keep chopping away. Take your time. And I'm going to chop up the peaches and the apples. So for the applesauce, we actually peeled the apples, but for our fruit salad, we're going to leave the peels on. Just adds a little bit more texture to the fruit salad. So I have three peaches and two apples. What kind of apples do you want? Um, these are Gala. You can pick Fuji, you can pick um, Granny Smith if you want a tartar flavor. So you have many options of apples, and the fruit salad can take whatever kind you have on hand. I, I told you, what, you stole a strawberry? <laughs> if you eat the strawberries out of the fruit salad, we're not gonna have anything to go in the fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> you giggle box. You are a giggle box for sure. And again, with the apples, you just want uh, like a rough chop. We're cutting them into small little squares. Nope, I don't need you. Nope, put, there, put your knife down. <laughs> put your knife down, girlfriend. Come 
want everything to be kind of like bite-sized pieces. Dump that in your bowl. Now, I was telling the girls earlier that um, when we were peeling the apples for the applesauce, they started eating the peels. And I said, well, that's really good because that's where a lot of the nutrients in an apple live. That's where all the fiber is and a lot of the vitamins. Now, you could also buy organic apples or you can get conventionally grown apples. The thing is, if you do buy conventionally grown apples, I actually like to let my fruit, my produce soak in a water and vinegar bath, and that helps to remove the pesticides. So, you know, don't feel like you have to always buy organic just to have fruit. There's actually a list, um, it's called the Dirty Dozen, and it's basically consists of fruits and vegetables where you eat the skin that normally would contain yeah. a lot of pesticides. Stop stealing the apples. It fell down here on the table. On the table, so you're gonna eat it, of course. All right, drop those apples in. Okay, now onto the peaches. Again, we're going to keep the skin on. Now a peach, a lot different than an apple, has a very big pit. So we're gonna just kind of slice around the pit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now if you really wanna get I fancy. Can I slice the two? Hmm? Can I slice the peaches too? I'm gonna to slice the peaches because I don't want them to get smushy. There's one. How you doing over there? Good. You're doing excellent, Veronica. This is my first time cutting with a knife. Yes, we let you cut with a little kid knife at home. This is definitely your first time on TV, huh? Wait, it's my skin time. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't know that yet. Okay. But it's okay. What is your favorite fruit, Veronica? Uh, strawberries and green grapes. Strawberries and green grapes. Well, did you know that we're putting strawberries and green grapes in our fruit salad? Yes. Oh. Zoe, what's your favorite fruit? Blueberries, strawberries, peaches. Blueberries, strawberries, peaches. Uh, grapes, pineapples. Is there any fruit you don't like? Oranges. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No. Is there any fruit you don't like, Veronica? Blueberries. You do not like blueberries. Well, there are blueberries in our fruit salad today. Did you know that? Yeah. But you can eat around them. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep on chopping. Hey, you, Missy, with your fingers. We don't need you to mix it up yet. I'm just doing this. Or are you stealing time. fruit? Are you disguising your mixing as stealing fruit? Hello. Mm-hmm. No, this plan into a little pile. Now the fun thing about fruit girls, did you know that you can have fruit for dessert? No. Don't we have sometimes strawberries for dessert? Yes. Yes, so you can eat them by themselves and this fruit salad is great for that. Or you can even add a little bit of like brown sugar and macerate your fruit, which means um, basically you start to break down the sugar compounds of the fruit and they get really juicy and almost create like their own sauce. But this fruit salad, so mommy likes to make this fruit salad when I go see my friends mm -hmm. and when they have like bridal showers or like baby showers, things like that. This is a great dish that you can take with you um, to events like that because you can make it ahead. You can make it the day before and then you just keep the yogurt drizzle off to the side. Are you still eating? <laughs> We're not gonna have any fruit in the fruit salad if you keep eating it. Are you done with your strawberries? Yes. You did awesome, Veronica. Way to go. All right, we're gonna dump these in. I got them, I got them, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Great job, ladies. Okay, let's wipe our hands on the towel. And you keep your hands out the fruit salad. <laughs> keep your hands out the fruit salad. Make sure you wipe your hands. I will. I'm, I gotta clean up your area a little bit because I gotta get the other fruits. Yeah. Okay, next, we are also going to add someone's favorite. Zoe, why don't you put the bowl up on the cutting board? There you go. All right, you may dump in your favorite. What's that? What are those? Grapes. Green grapes, and we have them. Um, so this is also very small child friendly. Now, what are you dumping in? 
Blueberry. Fantastic. Oh, so easy to do. Oh, catch your cough. All right, now we have two more fruits that are going in. I do pineapple. Okay, well, I have to chop the pineapple first, girlfriend. Hold on, I have to, I have to chop the pineapple. Can I chop it? All right. I know, I will chop it. All right. <laughs> These are mandarin oranges. Um, they're actually from a can. And I've drained the juice, so you can just add those in. Again, make are it they a good? Easy. Are they good? Mandarin oranges? Yeah. Um, are you about to steal one and try it? No. Why don't you steal one and try it? Okay. And then you tell me if it's good. Can I try one? It tastes, it yes, tastes like the same. It tastes the same as the mandarin oranges you get from school when you order lunch at school? Yes. Very good. Okay. So we're going to add the pineapple in. Can I cut one? Um, sure. Here. Me too. Uh, let me do this, Zobot. Let me do this. I see one. You do, you do the dumping. Here. Let's slide your bowl over some. You do the dumping. I'll cut, you dump. There you go. Now, pineapple, again, you could cut it along the groove. <laughs> you are eating. Are you eating all of the pineapple? You are eating all the food. She loves fruits. <laughs> You know who else loves this fruit salad? Who? Daddy and Nana Colleen. I didn't know that. Oh yes, this is one of both of their favorites as well. So it's really fun. It's for people of all ages, right? Yes. I Everybody like them too. Everybody can love a fruit salad. I like them too. I never tried a fruit salad, have I? Yes, you have, plenty of times. You just don't realize it because I just dump it in a bowl and you just eat the fruit. Okay. Now this looks like. Um, okay. Now we need to make our yogurt drizzle. So let's sit this off to the side. Okay. And then we will actually stir this up when we're ready to eat. How's that sound? Good. We gotta get rid of your trash, girlfriend. Uh oh. Yep. Let's dump your strawberry stems or halved strawberries, I should say. So the thing is, parents, if you're gonna let your kids participate in the kitchen, you can't be perfectionist. You've gotta just let it go. Let it go, right? Okay. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you are a giggle box. Did you know your sister was such a giggle box? Yes. Yes, you did. Don't, don't go. Okay, all right. All right, silly girls. Okay, so now let's clean off our station. All right, bowl. Check. We need plain Greek yogurt. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on. Chickadee, this is sit up here. Okay. Plain Greek yogurt. We're going to put the whole container in. Let me get us a spoon. Oh, can I do it too? Yep. Let me grab a spoon from here. Can I do it too? Yes. And I like yogurt. Okay. You scoop that. Now we need some agave nectar. You could also use honey. Um, honey has a stronger flavor, so that's why I prefer to use agave. All right, we are going to need one teaspoon. Let's find your teaspoon. There it is. All right, got to tip it just a little bit. One teaspoon of agave. It's going in. Also, agave doesn't stick to your measuring spoons much like honey does. Honey would be really stuck to our spoon. That's all we need. Now, we're gonna use more of this when we make our applesauce. Okay. Now we need orange. One orange, are you getting it in there? Can I help you? No. Okay. Can I? No. You all are silly badillies. Silly. Oh, you're throwing yogurt on the cutting board. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girls, I love you. You all are fun. It's so fun to have kids in the kitchen, and it's okay to make a mess. Yeah, there you go. You gonna eat it? I want to try. Go ahead. Okay, it tastes like so green. Greek yogurt is one of like my most favorite ingredients because it can be substituted in just about anything. You can use it when you're baking. You can use it. Is it good? In place of sour cream. So if you make tacos or anything, you put sour cream on, um, or sometimes some of those creamy dips. Try Greek yogurt. It's a great option. So now we have one orange. Mm -hmm. We're going to just squeeze, Can I squeeze it? the juice. Can I squeeze it? Um, uh, I? I only need, actually, I only need half of it. 
Yep. All right, now, hold on, wait, 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 wait. We gotta start to stir this up first. Can All right. It? Let mommy stir just a little bit, and then you can stir. Okay, you stir some, and then Veronica's gonna stir some. Don't make a mess. It's a good hand workout, too, if you wanna squeeze your oranges. You could also use a citrus squeezer. But where's the fun in that? It's turning orange. It is kind of turning orange, huh? So our goal is to make it more like a drizzle, a um, little bit of a dip. So we will use the whole orange. These are nice, juicy oranges. Doesn't it sound weird? Oh, yeah. Okay, let Veronica stir a little bit. All right, those can go. Are you going to eat the orange? Go ahead. You want me to cut it in half so you can eat it? The apple sauce is really looking good. It is. You hear it? Is it starting to sizzle? Yes. All right, Thank Zoe. You. Let me cut these for you. Get this one, too. So the thing with fruit salad, too, is that nothing ever has to go to waste. So, I mean, if your kids like oranges and fruits. Thank you. Let them eat it. It almost looks like milk. It does kind of look like milk. All right, let's bring it up here so our friends at home can see. All right, so yes, yeah, so you can see we've kind of made like a really nice yogurt glaze. Like it's really good. Can be used as a drizzle. Yep, so really good. Okay, while Zoe's eating her oranges, off of the side. Mm, so good. All right, now we need a big spoon. A big spoon. Can you grab us a big spoon? So we can stir our salad. There you go. Good job. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna toss our salad, our fruit salad. <laughs> Mixing all of the different fruits, all of the colorful fruits. Uh oh, we're losing some. Put it back in. Yeah. I think we should have used a big clear bowl, guys. What do you think? Yeah. Might have had a little bit more space, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I'll make you a deal. Anything that falls out, you can grab and eat. Yay! Okay. Okay. Oh, Zoe already found one. Oh, there goes one. Oh, don't eat it off the floor. Can I put it back in? No. Wait, wait. You just put it in the trash, yeah. So that one fell on the floor. I also ate like a tiny one whenever I would those Oh, you did? You ate a tiny one? Yeah. So you can see all of the vibrant colors. We've got the blueberries, the strawberries, the mandarin oranges. Now I do, when I do get the canned mandarin oranges, one quick note, I get them in 100% juice as opposed to light syrup. Because with the 100% juice, you know, it's just more mandarin oranges versus additional sugar added to them. I also don't get the no sugar because then that has artificial sweeteners added to the oranges. So we just want them in their natural juice, but I do drain it because we already have a little sauce to go on top. Now, ladies, mm -hmm. shall we try our fruit salad? Are you still eating your oranges? This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat your oranges, how are you gonna have room for fruit salad and then for applesauce? Okay, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait, wait. Keep your hands out the fruit salad. Can I get us some bowls? Can we can we do this nice and neatly and, and use bowls? Yeah. And silverware? Yeah. Like civilized people? I can get silverware. Okay, can... let me get some clear bowls. Do some fun them? little clear bowls. How many of us are there? Just three today, huh? We don't have our whole family of six. Mm -hmm. And can you get us little spoons? Okay. There you go, look, that already jumped in. That pe <laughs> I don't know if you can come back. You eat the food before we even get a chance to serve it. Oh, thank you, that's a perfectly dainty little spoon. Let's see, let's do this this way. This bowl is very heavy. It is full of all of the yummy goodness. I could eat this for breakfast. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, dessert. You could have fruit salad all day. Mm -hmm. Are we done with our oranges yet? No, okay. What if I sit these over here to the side? Okay. Now, the good thing about fruit salad too, guys, you don't realize it, but it's very healthy for you. I didn't get 
that. You did, because there's a lot of um, a vitamin, a very special vitamin, and it's called vitamin C. Do you know why we like vitamin C? Why? Because it helps us to fight off when we have like colds and different viruses. Vitamin C helps our cells to be nice and strong, and your cells are all in your body. Helps your immune system. You ever heard of your immune system? No. Well, do you want some of the yogurt drizzle, or are you just going to go ahead and start eating? Uh, just kidding. You're just going to start eating? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm done. You're done with your oranges now? Okay, well, let's click. Well, hold on. Would you like some of your yogurt drizzle? No. No? Nobody's going to have the yogurt drizzle? No. Just a little bit. I'm going to have some of the yogurt drizzle. I think everybody should have just a little bit. Here. Okay. Can I put my own in? Yes, you most certainly can. It's a little bit of yogurt drizzle. There you go. Mommy likes a lot of yogurt drizzle, so I'm gonna do a lot. And because it's Greek yogurt, there is also a little bit of protein in there. There's no fat, so it's good to have a lot. And because we use agave, it has a lower glycemic index um, than if you were to use actual sugar or a sugar-based yogurt dip. Great job, Veronica. Zoe, you've been eating the whole show. What do you think? Oh. Is that good? Okay, here we go. I got my yogurt dip and, oh, I've got some peaches and an apple. Mmm. Mmm. Just a little sweet, mm. a little tangy. I can taste the orange that we squeezed in. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Zoe? I can taste everything. You can taste everything. I don't... You've been eating this whole show. I Get that like that. You've been helping me. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so good. Okay, guess what we have to finish? Making our kids applesauce. You are correct. Mommy's gonna sit her fruit salad off to the side. Thank you. Okay. Here, I'll move yours, got it. Climb back up in your chair. Okay. There's Zoe's and Veronica's, you've got yours. Okay, now we need to add some of our additional ingredients to our applesauce. So we're gonna add a little bit of agave. Even though our apples were actually very sweet, they actually have a really nice boil going. Perfect timing. Oh, you see all that steam, right? Here, let's share, show our friends at home. So they're boiling, they're well, steaming, that thing, that thing. they're getting softer. Mm -hmm. oh, mm, can yeah. you smell the apples? Mm. You can already start to smell. Oh, it smells yummy. Okay, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Of what? Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon. What you're saying is a grammatical term called mm. synonym, which means it's something that's the same. Okay. All right. Can you I dump that in? I don't know how to say it right. That's okay. You're seven. You're nine. Can I Yes, and actually, let's do this. I like a lot of cinnamon in mine, so why don't you come on over here. Come over here and stand on Veronica's stool. And then you can dump in. So we'll do one whole teaspoon of cinnamon, as Veronica says, or cinnamon. Good I job. Do, do Excellent. Okay. We don't need to do another one. We don't need a teaspoon and a half. <laughs> then it's to be called it. cinnamon sauce, not applesauce. Cinnamon sauce. Okay, now we're going to add one teaspoon of agave nectar. And mommy's gonna do this just so I can pour it right on in. You were dripping. I did drip a little, it's okay. Wait, what does it taste like? At least it's good luck. Uh, good luck, right here. Here's your finger. I'll let you try agave. Me too. It almost tastes like honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, some one more thing. Lemon. Oh, no. So we, what do we do at home when we're ready to squeeze a lemon? I, I do it. I we do roll it, lemon. right? Oh. We roll it. And why do we roll it? Because it makes it get softer. Uh-huh. Juicy. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> All right. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you let me help you a little bit? I got it. Okay. So you keep rolling. Let Wait. Veronica roll a little bit. Mommy's going to grab a spoon. 
a little bit. A spoonchula, no, no. spatula. Okay. And I'm gonna start stirring our apples and cinnamon. Mmm, now do you smell it? Mm -hmm. Can I smell the cinnamon? Can I uh, let mommy stir just because this is still hot and our pot is a little hot. Can I so. smell? You can't smell the cinnamon all the way over there? No. Ooh, no, it's wow. so strong. Okay, come stand on Veronica's stool with her. I can smell it. Mm. Smell. What'd you call it? Cinnamon. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> all right, we're going to juice the lemon and just gonna squeeze it in. That also helps to enhance the sugars it. of the apple. Can I squeeze it? Nope, let mommy squeeze it because I have to catch the seeds. So. Squeeze it right into your hand so you catch the seeds. Nobody wants seeds in their applesauce. Mm. Oh. Yeah, all over the place. That's okay. It's lemon juice. My hands okay. are sticky. They are. We'll wash them. Don't worry. My face is sticky. Your face? That, that's because you've been eating oranges and fruit the whole time. <laughs> Silly badilly. Every time we go to add an ingredient into something, there you are eating it. Okay, you guys, take a look. What do you think? Whoa. Ooh. All right, let's show our friends at home. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Let's show them. Mmm. So we see how that's already starting to bake. You can see the cinnamon. Almost starting to create a little syrup around it's, the apples. It's, it's looking good. Yes. Now, this is where the fun comes in. We're going to get it smushed up like applesauce. So we're going to take our immersion blender. You can use, remember like I said, you can use a uh, food processor, you can put this in a regular blender, but the reason why I like an immersion blender is because I can just keep it all in one pot and not dirty up additional things. So stick it in on low, and we just start to smush the apples. It sounds like a weird noise. Yeah. Um. We could even turn it on high. Here, Zoe, come back over here to Veronica's stool. Come on, I smell a hot dog all the way over here. Oh, yeah? Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It smells really good. Okay, let's stir it up a little bit. I stir it. And then we're going to smush it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That mm. looks looking like applesauce. It's looking like applesauce. Well, good thing, huh? Because we're making applesauce. High five. We don't want it to look like meatloaf. <laughs> so I'm just going up and down with my immersion blender, basically smushing the apples, cutting them up very easy. A little bit. Now, how chunky do you guys like your apple sauce? Like really chunky. Like really chunky, chunky? Or just a little bit chunky? Just or a little more smooth. bit chunky. Yeah, a little bit chunky. Just a little bit chunky? Yeah. All right. What does that even mean? Well, it just kind of says how thick you like for it to be. Oh, wow. So do you like whole pieces of apples in your applesauce, or do you want it to be more smushy? More smushy. More smushy? Okay. Yeah, more so we're already smushy. starting to blend. I'm going to blend just a little bit more. You can already see it's starting to break down. And the sauce, kind of like the glaze that was with it, is already starting to incorporate. All right, put the fabric on high and let's go. Let's go to town. I'm more, I'm more on my fruit. Huh? I'm more on my fruit. You can eat some more of your fruit? Sure, go ahead and grab your fruit salad. Wait, is this on mine? All right. That's not hot. Okay. I'm gonna let this simmer just for a tiny bit more while you guys eat your fruit salad while I get some more bowls out. You can keep eating your fruit salad, stay right there. Okay, turn down my heat just a little bit. It's really good. Is it? The fruit salad? Yeah? The applesauce looks really good. So mommy likes her applesauce chunkier. I like my applesauce to be a little chunky. So I'm leaving it with some chunks of apple in it. Now, get us some bowls. Actually, I'm gonna come over here. Where are you going with your fruit salad, girlfriend? It looks very good. Mm-hmm. Can you smell the apples? Mm, they're really yeah. good. I got orange stuck to it from my hands. Okay. 
Mm. Wait, are we finally taste testing? We are gonna taste, are we finally taste testing? Yes, we're gonna taste test this too. Except you still have orange taste test all over your face, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so you make this to your desired consistency. Um, however pureed you'd prefer for it to be, it's all up to you, again, and up to the kids. So this is where you can get, you know, flexible and you can have fun and you make it the way you want it, right? Yeah. Yes. Slice it. Slice it. Slice it. Slice it. What? I can do lots of cool tricks. You can, can do I? lots of cool tricks? What kind of tricks? Uh, Let me get a spoon. Put my feet over my head. You can. We're not going to show our friends at home that you can do no. fun, flexible gymnastics tricks today. But maybe we'll plan that for another show. Okay. How's that sound? Good. There's a little bit for you. It's very hot. Grab your fruit salad spoon. That's dirty. Is it dirty? You want to grab another one? Yes. There's a little bit for you, Zobot. Mine's dirty, too. Okay, I'll get you some more spoons. Hold on. Give me, on me two seconds. Let me scoop up some applesauce for myself, too. Mmm, it smells heavenly. Wait, what? It smells heavenly. That looks right. really I'm like turn my apple burner sauce. down to low so it stays nice and warm. Yeah, you should probably smell it. It smells very really good. Oh, yeah, it does. Spoon? I'm going to let it cool down. You're going to let it cool down? Okay. There you go. Let's mix it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's really... Well, cute. Mommy's going to go in for it. I'm going to blow in it. Do it. Do, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm. So I like leaving the apples like a little chunky. You definitely still get the crispness of the apple without it tasting like baby food. Mm. It's so good, the cinnamon and the lemon juice. You're like blowing on my face, girl. You're like blowing on my face. Mm, Is it good? good? What do you think? It's very good. Mm. So delicious. I think I love it. You think you love it? I mean, I eat more and more and more. It's, you came here to eat, didn't you? I'm glad you brought your appetite today. <laughs> I want to be so healthy. Now, if you were to vote, it's hot, blow on it. I remember you both. You both came. You both liked. You both helped. Mm -hmm. If you were to pick, which one is your favorite? The applesauce or the fruit salad? The applesauce. The applesauce is your apple favorite? Sauce. Uh, both. Both, yeah, both. Are you just saying whatever she says? No. No. It's both. Just both? Yeah. She is. Both. Mm, it's a tough choice, though. I, I kind of agree with you because they're both so different. Um, you know, one's a, a warm treat and one's a cool treat. Hmm, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I just like this. Yeah. You can just use your spoon. Uh, uh, You've got apples in both. It's almost like two ways to use apples. So, what? What? Okay. hey little ladies. What? I think we gotta go. We can stay here and keep eating. Yay! Yeah. Well, so thank you so much for watching today's episode of Health and Self with... Veronica. And... Yay! Zoe, <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate taste tester for sure. Um, find more recipes on selfsoulspace.com and be sure to tune in next week with us right here on DETV. Thanks for watching.